Hi guys, it's Lewis here. Um, I just wanted to do an unboxing video of this figure that I got about a week ago but I haven't opened yet. I haven't got the best setup for this so you'll have to uh, bear with me. Um, that is my leg in the photo there. As you can see it blends in with the duvet cover and the plasterboard that I'm using here. Not plasterboard, foam board. Um, this is the DC Multiverse. I really like these figures. The Batman Who Laughs who's a relatively new addition to the Batman uh, mythos. Um, he is essentially a alternate universe Batman who killed the Joker in his universe and was infected with um, the Joker's fail-safe poison thingy that he put in his body. So this is a Batman that's turned into the Joker. We'll get a better look at him when I take him out of the box. Um, this one comes with part of the Batmobile. Again, I'll show you that when I get out of the box. Um, there's two other figures uh, in this part of the line to collect and you can build the whole Batmobile. The other two figures are Nightwing and Batgirl, which are nice figures and good characters, but I probably won't get them, I don't think, because they just don't quite appeal to me. Um, I've already cut this just to make it easier to open in video purposes. Um, it's a bigger box than normal because it's got the extra Batmobile bit. So here we go. You can see in the box it comes with the trading card and then the stand there. Um, they're quite hard to cut out because even though I take stuff out of the boxes, I, I don't like to damage the boxes. So normally I leave the trading card in there just because I don't want to lose it and you have to kind of cut around it as well. So to get to the stand I'd have to cut that out as well. But I mean they're, they're, they're not too bad. If you've got a decent knife, do be careful. Uh, I'm just going to put it over there. So there you see you've got the Batmobile there. Like I said, I'm going to leave that in the box for now. Um, you've got a couple of knife implements there. Um, I'm just going to snip this bit around his waist just so I can take it out. It's easier, just a little tip if you snip it on the back there. Uh, here we go. I say it's easier and then it's harder. There we go. So, should be able to take him out quite easily now. These are always pretty well popped in there. I hope this isn't, hope this isn't too loud. Oh, he's got a bit around his legs as well. Snip, snip, snip. Snip. So there he is. Pretty nice figure. Like I say, he's a bit taller and thinner than the normal Batman figures would be. Um, I think if I put it closer, it makes it a bit more blurred, but you can kind of see the mouth with the teeth and the blood around the mouth there. I think it's blood, or he's just very bad at putting on his lipstick. Um, but yeah, they're just as poseable as the normal McFarlane figures are. I don't know if there's any waist movement. I don't think there is, but he, yeah, he's not quite as flexible in the waist, but then he's got this big coat on with the belt buckles there. Um, I never quite understood how he's got the spike visor thing on his eyes and he can still see. But, you know, it's a cool figure and I wanted it. Um, it was a bit more expensive. I got it off Amazon. It was a bit more expensive than the some of the others were, but I think it's pretty cool. Um, his hands look good as well for holding the weapons. I'll pop one out now and give it a try. Um, some of these figures are a bit tricky to kind of get the weapons in their hands. Um, the Joker one, the Arkham Asylum Joker... Uh, it was a bit hard to get him to hold the gun and the um, the teeth that he comes with, but yeah, that's pretty good. Holds it in there nicely. I'll pop the other one in there as well, why not? Uh, I'm just going to pop that in there. Yeah, they're a little bit tough to get in, but then I guess it, it evens out because then they hold them more securely. But yeah, you can pose him however you like with his various weapons and what have you. But yeah, he's a cool character. He first came about a couple of years ago in the Dark Knight's Metal series. And like I say, he's an alternate universe Batman, which is what that series is all about. They're all alternate universe Batman who are based off of uh, uh, some of the other DC characters as well. Um, and he's had his own series since then, um, the man, the Batman Who Laughs, uh, which is good as well. By, created by Scott Snyder, I think. Um, but yeah, it's a cool figure. I like it. It's pretty poseable and it will look good next to my Joker one, which I've not done a video of, but I might do in the future. If you check out my uh, podcast slash vlog slash um, YouTube show, whatever you call it, I might have the Arkham Asylum Joker on there soon. Um, yeah, he's a cool figure. 
it'll probably stand pretty well because he's got pretty decent sized um footwear there he's got like some big combat boots on um which are cool but yeah there he is bruce wayne that man who laughs um sorry it's a little bit blurry but you uh you get the idea good figure i like it would recommend um yeah be sure to like the video and subscribe because that's what you have to say on youtube um if you like the figures let me know i'll do more videos about figures if you rather i just talk about films and stuff then let me know that and i may listen to you but yeah thank you very much